And some of the journalists arrested as they covered the Tana Athi River Development Authority or Tarda demolitions in Bere uh, were assaulted by police during the arrest. Now, the journalists who were arrested alongside Mbere South Member of Parliament, Geoffrey Kingangi, have lamented their ordeal at the hands of police after they were released Saturday night. They were arrested as they covered the demolitions and eviction of residents from Bondoni area of Embu County. Hassan Mugambi with the details. What journalists drawn from different media houses in Embu County thought would be a normal day at work telling stories quickly took a turn for the worse. They were suddenly on the receiving end of a very physical contingent of anti-riot police. As journalists, it was a bad, it was a bad, uh, it was a bad uh, incident for us to leave. And the action by the police did not stop there. They barred the journalists from reporting the matter. The officers at Kiritiri Police Station initially denying them P3 forms. They have recorded statements after receiving treatment. It is about time because this is the second incident here in Embo County, still covering uh, the same issue when a body was assaulted uh, by police, police in uniform uh, to, to make matters worse. And I think it should come to a stop and uh, this should not ha happen again to any journalist in this nation. They say despite clearly identifying themselves, the officers simply ignored their badges. Back in the affected villages, the flattening of what residents have known as home for years continues. This time in Mumoni, Kitui County. Acknowledging an eviction notice from the Tana Athi Rivers Development Authority, Tarda, requiring them to vacate the area next to the Kiambere Dam, the residents are now calling on authorities to provide them with an alternative. <laughs> Schools and churches have not been spared either. More than 300 pupils from three primary schools will, after these demolitions, have no school. Uh, watoto ambao wako ndarasa la saba ambao tunakusudia kuwa hao ndi watainiwa wa mwaka ujao. Itakuwa vingumu sana kama mwanafunzi atakuwa transferred kutoka shule moja kuenda ile ingine. Residents living inside the Tarda cut line saying the authorities' compensation is an insult to them. The demolitions come barely a month after scores of residents vowed to resist evictions by Tarda, which has accused them of trespassing into its land. The residents claim ownership of the land near Masinga and Kiambere dams where they live and farm. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.